These scavengers are ruthless lowlife scum who prey on anyone that could provide them with spare parts. Scavengers were first featured in the Cyberpunk 2077 E3 2018 trailer, where the gang engaged in combat with the Trauma Team International. Later on, they are featured in the beginning of the 48-minute gameplay, being the enemies we have to fight to rescue a rich woman that was kidnapped by them. These scavengers are a byproduct of the high-tech society of 2077, where the parts you carry can vastly outvalue your own life. Harvesting cyberware and organs is a nasty but profitable business model, and the scavengers are just filling this niche. Also, they are absolutely brutal, with zero regard for human life. To a scav, a person is just a set of assembled products waiting to be disassembled and sold on the open market. The gang members do not obey any particular philosophy, they don't care about anything but themselves and profit. They are merciless and immoral, and their methods are far from sophisticated. The gang itself don't have a strong defined structure, but they do own the monopoly in the body parts aftermarket. The scavengers don't have a single cohesive piece of turf, and their groups are spread across Night City. They usually simply occupy abandoned buildings or floors from the mega buildings. Their modus operandi is simple assault, abduction, mutilation, and dismemberment. Their victims are called by them as donors, and they are almost never found because the gang tends to utilize the entire body. Any cyberware and organs that can be harvested and sold are placed directly onto the black market. The leftovers of the prey are either dumped, burned, or left as rat food in the city sewers. Scavengers are the main suppliers of the low-end illegal cyberware for other gangs, and even shady reaper docks. So next time you visit your dog for a new implant, make sure to ask its origin. He will say it's Karashi, but maybe it's not first hand. You tone a karma of a dead chick eye augmentation on you. Other than that, scavs will hire themselves for about any job available, as long as you show them the eddies. No questions will be asked. And this video concludes my playlist of 9 videos explaining all the Night City gangs of Cyberpunk 2077. I hope this content was helpful to you, and if you miss any of them, there is a link for it, the whole playlist in the video description. For the next playlist, I am working on a special series to explain everything about Night City, starting from the story pre-2077 and going through every single one of the 6 districts. The first episode should be live very soon, so hit that subscribe button and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming content for Cyberpunk 2077. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I see you next time.